All right. All right, let's get started. Um, this uh, meta human icon tutorial. So, uh, first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go to our meta human here. Uh, bring up the meta human blueprint. And since I already uh, exported this, I'm not going to export it, but I'm just going to show you guys uh, uh, the process. Okay, so uh, first thing we want to do is um, get this mesh here, which is our main body mesh uh, right here. And we're going to export it. So we're going to right click, asset action, we're going to export and export it as an XB FBX. I'm just gonna call it body. All right, it's on the desktop. Say, uh, let's do 2020. Now, put this down. Now in a uh, 3D Max. Uh, no, not 3D Max. Uh, 3D Exchange. Let's open that up. Now we're just gonna drag body in here. Uh, click OK. Ready to do all that stuff. Okay. Now we're just gonna go uh, apply the icon. As you can see, it brought our uh, body mesh in here. All right. Now we go to Unreal. I mean, uh, the Unreal Live link here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna transfer this over to Unreal. Um, I want to take away some of these stuff like the camera props and you know just the character the body um, transfer that to Unreal uh, once the transfer is done uh, we're gonna go over to Unreal now okay once that happened you should have a folder called RL all right so we're just gonna go in here go in body um, let me do this. Okay, clear live link origin. You know what? Let me just go ahead and uh, do a transfer here. And now we got our see now we got our uh, icon character here okay now if you open this blueprint here uh, okay so well this is lines this is tray here we go okay so this is body all right now if you open this right here uh you see it just it just has a skeleton mesh here that's all that it's doing um it's using to drive the animation so we're just going to go to class settings here and here we're going to change it from skeleton mesh actor to our uh meta human okay and it, immediately we're going to get some errors because we're no longer using that main skeleton mesh so we're just going to use the live link or, or the uh, meta human uh, skeleton mesh here so we're going to replace it here and there's one in this macro here that we also need to replace ok 
okay once that's done should have no errors all right now um another thing we should do here we should just add a call to the parent for and for begin play um let me see i, I don't think trey has a, a begin play here does he okay so he does have a begin play all right so yeah um, and construct so we do need to add those uh, call to parent so call to parent for begin play and for event construct okay once that is done um, we need to replace this mesh right here okay I don't think it matters but just in case we're just gonna replace it with the one that we got from uh, icon Okay, and right here uh, we're going to use a blueprint, and we're going to use the uh, the blueprint from Icon also. Okay, and uh, let's see. We should be able to. Uh, start our link here okay let's see if we could find an animation here Something is up with this uh, skeleton mesh here. Okay. Um think something might have went wrong with that uh with that skeleton mesh um okay let's see something here let's not save that uh let's bring back up but so far, you guys should already get the gist of what happens. If your skeleton um, mesh here comes out good, then all your animations uh, should be working. I don't know, something is just odd about this uh, skeleton here, but um, I don't know, this one came out good, but guys, if your skeleton uh, didn't come out good, I guess you could try again, I don't know, some, I don't know what I did here, but um, yeah.
but as you can see too uh, you got your, your live link stuff here um, you can still connect via live link but uh, just, I don't know something is up with that right there I don't know if it's the name or what it is, but uh, this is my other guy here. Just delete these guys and how Live Link, uh, I mean, how Icon actually communicate with these guys. Actually, uh, I think the skeleton name name of the skeleton so um, for me to switch back to that skeleton there I would have to use this one which is named uh, M underscore TL by underscore body or whatever so yeah I think I could just activate a link here and I should be able to control that guy as you can see, he's sitting down. But I will also um, leave a copy of this uh, skeleton here if on the Google Drive just in case. I think it's the same skeleton used throughout all of MetaHuman, so you know, you can still uh, use this. I don't know about using the, the face stuff yet. I'm going to be checking that out a little bit from... Uh, iClone because there's a little bit better than the uh, live link for uh, Unreal Engine but for now you can use the uh, the live link here for um, face capture animations but yeah that's it hopefully that helped alright thanks